اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم تو ایبیبوڈی and welcome to today's lesson I hope you all have your heads covered appropriately or in wudu and a nice quiet place in order to have today's lesson please make sure you have used your correct ID please change your ID if it's not correct because you will not be called to the mic if you do not have the correct ID okay so without any further ado our agenda for today We will be doing a new rule this, um, this afternoon as well. We will be looking at a new rule, compulsory stop, which will take a few minutes over. We will also be having some practice text, which is the recitation from yesterday, which you began. I think you completed, but we will be practicing that surah again today as well. And a reminder that today is the mother-teacher consultation as well. So please... Um, make sure parents know that at 6.30 there will be an opportunity for um, them to share their um, opinions of how we can improve the course, what they've enjoyed about the course, um, any feedback at all that they wish to give um, is very welcome. So that will be inshallah at 6.30 today. Okay, so if we can move on to our first student of the day for our opening dua please. Um, yes, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, our first student is G2162. G2162. Assalamu alaikum. G2162. Oh. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm very well. Alhamdulillah. Jazakum for asking. So if we can start with Dawood and Tasmiya, and then we will read the opening of the dua for the day. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. Daha 115 Beautiful. Jazakum Allah. Thank you so much. G2 Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, excellent. So in today's class, I, like I just said, we are going to be um, looking at a new rule. So let me just open that up for you. And then I will share that with you. Uh, just a second. Okay. Right, so we're looking at a new rule. So before we begin our new rule, just a reminder about um, our pausing, our vakf. Okay, remember when we make a pause or a stop, um, there are certain rules linked to how we stop, and there are certain signs which tell us what we need to do when there is a stop sign. So um, from class 47 last week, we looked at this. So I'm just reminding you now, and then we'll go on to our new rule that Allah the Gracious has divided the Quranic text into verses. It was the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet وسلم, and his companions to make a pause at the end of a verse or in the middle of a longer verse, keeping in mind the meaning of the verse. A vakf means to pause or stop. In terms of Quranic recitation, it means to stop or pause during the recitation by taking a new breath, either at the end of a short verse or in the middle of a long verse. At an appropriate place, again, keeping in mind the meaning of the verse. So, You can pause or stop at any appropriate place. There are also various signs which have been used in the Arabic text of the Holy Quran to assist and facilitate the readers in pausing and starting. These signs are called alamatul waqf, pause signs. One such sign is known as the compulsory stop, compulsory stop. So today's class, class 52, we are looking at compulsory stop. Al-waqful lazim, al-waqful lazim, compulsory stop, that's what it means, okay? 
means a compulsory stop. This is shown in the text as a small meme. Often it is in the margin, it will be written Vakful Lazim in Arabic. You absolutely must stop at the compulsory stop. You must stop there. This is because two different statements are being made. And it's important to keep them both separate. Otherwise, the meaning will change. Or there will be some confusion. So, here is our first example. Surah Al-Baqarah, that's chapter 2, verse 27. Verse 27, let's see. Right, as you can see here in the verse, we have a little tiny meme here, which is inside this circle. Okay, this is an example of Waqful Lazim, a compulsory stop. As you can see, it is also written in the margin in Arabic. It actually says, Waqful Lazim. Okay, Waqful Lazim. Right, here is another one. Waqful Lazim. And it's this tiny meme here. Okay, so when you see this meme, it means you must, sorry, go back a second. When you see this meme, it means you must make a pause. In order to make a pause, you need to pause in the correct way. Okay, you need to pause in the correct way. So if I could have a student on the mic, please. Um, yes, our next student is G2226. G2226. Asalaamu Alaikum. How are you today? Good, Alhamdulillah, and you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. So, do you understand what Vakful Lazim means? Yes. Yeah. What does it mean? You have to pause where the tiny meme is. Excellent, well done. So it's a compulsory stop. So what I'm going to do is, all we're going to do is we're going to read just this section, okay? And we need to make a stop here, right? So start with Dawood and Tasmiya. Excellent. So, could you, can we just say these three letters that we're not going to make a stop, we're just going to say the three letters. So, it'll be ma, fa, lan. Ma, fa, lan. Ma, fa, lan. Ma, fa, lan. Okay, good. Now, because of this compulsory stop here, can you remember how we, what we're going to change this um, um, tanveen to? Can you remember? Um, there's an alif here. There's an alif here. So this will turn into a single fatah. So in order to make a stop here, we will say, Mafala. Mafala. Good, well done, excellent. So that's why we need to know the rules of how to stop so that we know how to stop when we see this miniature meme. Okay, once more. Mathala. Mathala. Very nice, well done. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. On the next page here. Right, now we have this miniature meme over here. So we need to make another stop. Okay, so. Um, let's read it from here. Ala ba'din. Ala ba'din. Right. So if we are making a stop, what are we going to do with this tanveen here? Do you remember? We're going to take both the kasra off. So this time we're going to take both the kasras off and we are going to put a skoon on top. Okay. Because in the last example, if you remember, in the last example, you had an alif after the lam. Just let me go back a second. You see here? Yeah? Yeah. So that's why you had to make it a single fatha, and you had to make this an alif madha. So it was la, matha, la. But in this next example, um, you don't have an alif here, so you will put a sukun here instead of the tanveen. So it would be bad. 
bad bad good because you have a sukun here on the ein ba and you'd also have a sukun on the da bad bad good well done and because of the miniature meme you have to make a stop there okay well done jazakumullah thank you so much g2226 for your help allah hafiz allah hafiz okay excellent so what I want um, everybody, to, if they wish to, they can do as a homework task, which is actually a really lovely task, is there are three um, chapters which we have listed here, and I'll give you this again at the end um, in your homework task. Chapter 3, verse 182, chapter 5, verse 3, and chapter 36, verse 77. You need to find the compulsory stop, the small meme, in the above chapters. Okay, so that's one of the things you need to do for homework. Right, good. So we are now going to move on to our um, recitation for today. If we could please have our first student for recitation. Yes, our uh, first student for recitation is G2171. G2171. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? G2171, how are you today? I'm good. Alhamdulillah, excellent. So if we start with Dawood and Tasmiya, now we went through this surah um, yesterday, Surah Al Asr. If you wish to um, have me guide you, I can guide you. But if you want to have a go at doing this by yourself, we can do that as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we start with Dawood and Tasmiya. Okay. Off you go. A'uzu billah himin shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wala ahsir in the lansan, I left your hussy. Lazina Amanu Ame Lucelli Hedi. What do I so be happy? What do I so be sub? So very good. Very good effort. Excellent. Really good effort. We're going to work through it a little bit just so that we can really fine tune it and so that every all of your pronunciation is exactly right. OK, so you're making a vakf here. You're stopping here. So you say wal asr. Wal asr. Good, because the ra also has to have a sukun on it. OK, wal asr. Wal asr. Now. On this noon, can you tell me something special about this noon, please? Um, um, that it has a, a What's this I forgot one? what we call it. It's called a shadda. So it's it's a noon with a shadda on top, a noon mushadda. Mm -hmm. And we also know this as a noon gunna because when you have a noon with a shadda on top, you have to hold and make a nasal sound for two seconds. Okay, so innal, 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 innal. Good, well done, excellent. Now, this next letter, seen. Um, is this a letter of the throat or not? Do you remember? No. It's not good. So again, we have to make a soft nasal sound here. Okay, good. Right. So we need to hold this nasal sound for two seconds. So should be the same length of time as sa because that's also two seconds. Beautiful, much, much better, excellent. In 
Nelson, Right, so you really need to work on holding the nasal sound here. In in la fi khusr. In in la fi khusr. Illa ladina. Illa ladina. The the the. Do a the sound. Put your teeth next to your front teeth. Yeah. Sorry, your tongue next to your front teeth and make a the sound. Uh, right. So there's no buzzing sound here. The teeth should, the tongue should touch your front two top teeth. The, like you're saying the word z. Yeah, the. That's, yeah that's, the, that's closer to the sound you need to make. In, in sorry. Illalazina Illazina Dina Good, much better. Amanu 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 Wa Amilu Soli Hati Okay, so Ayn has to remember come from the middle of your throat. Ah, Ami, Ah, Amilu, Amilu. Now, is this a thick sound or a thin sound? Um, it's a thick sound. Good, well done. So, sod. So when you're saying this sound, you have to make your mouth round and you have to make a thick sound, okay? Lusso. Lusso. Okay, make your mouth into a round shape. So. So. Much better, excellent. Lusso lihati. Lusso lihati. Much better. Now, Ha, again, remember that comes from your throat, middle of your throat. Ha, okay. Ami lusoli hati. Ami lusoli hati. Okay, much better. Really focus on making this sod sound, okay? Good, well done. Wada wa so. Wada wa so. Good. So remember, this is two seconds and this is a wow lean again. What a wow so be sober. What a wow be sober. What a wow so be sober. Very good. Much, much better. Excellent. So really just work on, make sure you get your um, nasal sound right here. In Okay, you have to hold on that for two seconds. Good. In Insana. Okay, and you have to hold on this for two seconds as well. Insana. Insana. And then your sod here, make sure that's a nice thick sound as well. Okay, well done. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help, G271. Okay, um, can we have our next student, please? Yes, our next student is G2153. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. G2153, can you hear me? Should we try someone else to speak? Yes. Up? Uh, oh, oh they, they said oh. salam, I think. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Is that G2153? Yes. 
Yeah. Excellent. Right. So if you could start with Dawood and Tasmia so we can begin. Good. Would you like to recite by yourself or you want me to guide you through? I'd like to recite by myself okay. and I've memorized this surah. You've memorized the surah. Excellent. Well done. So shall I um, um, go back to another screen so that you can say it from memory to me? I'll put it back on this screen. Okay. Would you, you want to do it from memory, don't you? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Well, as Okay, start from Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal asr inna al-insan lafi khus illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasu bil haqqi wa tawasu bil sabr. Very nice. Could you do it once more for me, please? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. والأسر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وأملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. Very good. I really, really like your um, recitation. It was really nice. Couple of things that I want you to focus on when you're reciting. Um, how um are we going to say this? إلا in Okay, so it's an it's um, a noon with a shadow on top, noon mashadad, which is also known as a noon gunna. So we need to hold on this sound for two seconds. Innal. Innal. Good. We have a nasal sound, and we hold on it for two seconds. Innal. Innal. Good. Again, this is um, a noon with a schoon on top. The next letter is it a letter of the throat or not? No, no. Not so, that I think no, it's not. You're correct. So we, again, we have to hold that, and we have to make a soft nasal sound for two seconds. In al insana. In al insana. Good. Well done. Excellent. Let's carry on. Okay. La fi khusr, and you said that fine. La fi khusr. Make sure that you elongate the um, sound there properly. Say that verse once more for me, please. In al insana la fi khusr. Excellent. Much, much better. Well done. It was very good the first time round, but these things are small points. That when you rectify them, then your your pronunciation becomes perfect. Okay? Let's carry on. Illa la vina. Illa la vina. Good, well done. Again, when you were saying um, from memory, you just need to be careful of this letter, the articulation point of this letter. Vina. Vina. Good, well done. Illa vina amanu. Illa vina amanu. Well done. Wa amilu salihati. Okay, you said really nice thick sod sound there. That was really good. Ah, remember this is a soft throat sound, but it comes from your throat. Ah, good. Good. And again, the ha comes from your middle of your throat. So you need to be um, careful that we can hear that sound from the middle of your throat for this one. Once more from here. Good, much better. Again, make sure that you can really feel your throat. You can put your fingers on your throat if it helps you. Okay. Okay, so this off is again this is one of our thick sounds or our thin sounds thick, thick. well done excellent 
So you really need to make um, your mouth round, even though you're saying it with a kasra, it needs to be a thick sound. Hakri. Hakri. Much better. Well done. So, watawaso bil hakri. Watawaso bil hakri. Well done. Excellent. Watawaso bil sabr. Watawaso bil sabr. Well done. And again, your, your sad was really good here. So make sure whenever you say the sad sound that your mouth becomes round again. Okay, really lovely recitation. Excellent. Well done for memorizing as well. That was really good. Just focus on these few points that I said. Um, your ha, make sure that's from the correct point. Your thick sounds, make sure that's correct. And your, um, your dal here as well. Make sure that it's coming from the right point. Okay, excellent. Well done. Okay. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if we could have our next student, please. Yes, our next student is G2190. G2190. Assalamu alaikum, can you hear me? G2190? G2190, can you hear me? Shall we try someone else? Uh, yes, we can try uh, G2179. G2179. Oh, we, oh. No? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. And this is G2... 179. 179, excellent. Just wanted to make sure I had the right number. G2179. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm very well, Alhamdulillah. Jazakum for asking. Um, so if you start with Dawood and Tasmir, would you like to recite this by yourself or you want to follow me? Um, I would like to follow you, please. Okay. So if we start with Dawood and Tasmir. Excellent. Wal Asr. Wal Asr. In al insana la fi khusr. In al insana la fi khusr. Very good effort. I want you to hold and make a nasal sound for two seconds here, and you need to make a nasal sound here as well. Okay, this is a noon gunna, and this is a noon, and the next letter is um, not a letter of the throat, so we need to hold and make a soft nasal sound. Right? In Good. Amanu. Very good. So really push on the uh, Shadda sound here. Very good. Very good. So make sure you do that. Very nice, very good thick sounds for your sword. Um, just say this uh, for me, please, just this bit. Bil. Bil haqqi. Good, much better, much better. So that was really good. You have to, even though it's got a qasra underneath, you still need to make your mouth round and you need to make a thick off sound, which you did the second time. Excellent. Do you want to have a go reciting once by yourself? Um, okay. Well, Arthur. Wa 
Beautiful, very, very nice recitation. Excellent, well done. Just a little bit careful when you have got your Alif mother here and your Alif mother here. So, make sure you don't forget to elongate at those two points. Okay, really, really nice. You did it really well by yourself. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Excellent. Really nice recitation, students. Well done. It's lovely hearing you all today. Um, really good effort to try and do it by yourself as well. Really good effort, even if you're following and you're trying to make sure that you correct all your pronunciation. So well done for all of you for that. So we are now going to move on to our parent and a mother um, sorry, mother teacher consultation. So if um, parents would like to come to the mic and raise their hands, um, obviously we won't have, may not have a chance to listen to everybody's um, feedback, but it'd be really nice to hear your feedback on any of the topics that are listed, the duration of the course, the pace of the course, the content, you know, ideas that you may have for future courses or the availability of the resources, were they available for you? Um, we had, did you have access to recordings? the communication with the team, with the in charge, how was the student interest and you know any other business, anything that you can share with us and help us so that we can learn and, and inshallah um, improve our courses in future because we're always trying to make sure that we are improving. We always try to make sure that we are doing the best for our, our students and we can only do that if we get really, really good consultations with the parents as well. So please do raise your hands and our um, discipline in charge will, will and open the mics up, um, inshallah, and then we can hear your feedback. Yes, there are lots of hands. So, um, G2115. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. Is your mother there? Um, no. No. Okay, because this is the time when we're actually going to have a parent, the parents talking to me. So if your mum wants to say something. Okay. Otherwise, um, when, she's, when she's available, when she's free, um, then you could ask her if she wants to give me any comments. Yeah? Uh, she unmuted herself. Okay, unmuted thank herself. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, next is G2227. G2227. Assalamu alaikum, G2227. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumullah. I just want to say, Jazakallah, it is very, very good course, and my daughter is really enjoying it. Oh, excellent. That's what we like to hear. She is, you know, she's really, really working on it, and I'm so glad. Um, I just want to know one thing that when you choose children, do you have, do you keep a register or something that like every day the different child and every child can get a chance? to? Yes. Read? Yeah, we, we do have a register. We have a mic list and we try our hardest to make sure that um, we are that different students are being called every day. Um, sometimes, you know, students have problems with mic issue. They um, can't unmute themselves, which is again, like we have on a Friday, we have um, smaller classes so that we can try to listen to all the students. Obviously um, our resources as teachers, we only have so many teachers. So it would be great if every single student could be heard every day, but some, you know, yeah. with, with the resources available, that's not possible at the moment. But mm -hmm. yes, we do have a list and, and um, we do try to make sure that all of our students are listened to um, the same amount of time. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, and yeah. the one more thing I just want to know that after this course, so what are we going to do? Is there anything else, or there there will be a, there is another course, um, G three, which is a HIFS course. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, so, and then I think um, our discipline in charge maybe has, but um, otherwise our in charge has um, mm -hmm. the list of all the courses, and it's also on the website all the okay. courses which are available to students. Okay, um, Jazakallah. Okay, Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your comments. Yeah, there are courses um, till G10, so you can join anyone. Um, next student is G2133. G2133. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum How are you? Mehti, Kaisa. Mehti, Alhamdulillah. Is your mum there? Does she want to yeah. make a comment? 
एक्सलेंट जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम माशाल्लाह बहुत मैं बिल्कुल ठीक हूं आप कैसे हैं अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह बिल्कुल ठीक हूं अल्लाह के फजल से मैं कहना था कि माशाल्लाह आप इतना अच्छा इतना प्यार से पढ़ाती हैं बच्चों को ना और फिर बच्चों का दिल करता है कि उनकी बार-बार से भरी है जाहिर है बच्चों का दिल हम हम यही तो चाहते हैं कि द चिल्ड्रन वांट टू हैव द लेसंस विद अस दैट दे हैव एन इंटरेस्ट इन अस एंड दे वांट टू रिसाइट ऑन ऑन द माइक ऑब्वियसली हम हर बच्चे को रोज नहीं सुन सकते वी वुड लव टू डू दैट बट आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट दे आर इंटरेस्टेड दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हां जी बिल्कुल और फिर बच्चों की इतनी प्यारी प्यारी आवाजें सुन के और भी दिल खुश होता है वो जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं यू यू आर एग्जैक्टली राइट लिसनिंग टू द स्टूडेंट्स मेक्स सच अ डिफरेंस टू ऑल ऑफ अस एम you know hearing hearing that they're doing so well they're trying so hard it's for us as teachers that's the biggest reward we can have is that the children are enjoying and they are doing well and they're trying their hardest ji maine bas yahi kehna tha ki aap koshish kare ki kuch is tarah se kare ki bachcho ki bari na aaya kare taaki aur woh zyada motivate ho inshallah inshallah aap bhi dua kare team ke liye jitne inshallah hamare teachers honge utna hamara रिसोर्सेज अवेलेबल होंगे हम सारे बच्चों को सुन सके तो आप दुआ करें कि और टीचर्स आ जाएं हमारे पास दैट वी हैव द यू नो इफ वी हैव मोर टीचर्स वी हैव एंड द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी टू लिसन टू मोर स्टूडेंट्स इंशाल्लाह इन द फ्यूचर अल्लाह ताला आप लोगों को और ज्यादा जजा भी दे और हिम्मत भी दे और आपके हमेशा हामी और नासिर हो और आपकी जो कोशिशें हैं उनको مزید जो है वो फल लगाए और आप लोग कामयाब हो आप बहुत नेकी का काम कर रहे हैं और बहुत स्वाब जो है ना वो आपको मिल भी रहा है जजाकला आपके प्रेस के आपकी दुआओं से मुझे बहुत जजाकला आमीन अल्लाह आमीन जजाक अल्लाह हमें तो आपकी दुआएं ही चाहिए हां जी सारी मां आपके लिए बहुत दुआ करती होंगी मुझे पता है और बच्चे भी आपको बहुत करते होंगे और मुझे आपका बोलने का अंदाज जो है वो बहुत अच्छा लगता है आप इतने प्यार से पढ़ाती हैं ना आप यकीन करें कि दिल बाग बाग हो जाता है अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह तो अल्लाह ताला की तरफ से हम टीचर्स को अल्लाह ताला ने हमें चूज किया है इस चीज के लिए तो बस दुआ करें कि हमें भी अल्लाह ताला तौफीक दे कि हम जितने भी बच्चे को हम सिखा सके हम सिखा सके इंशाल्लाह जरूर ओके अल्लाह थैंक यू सो मच अल्लाह हाफिज अल्लाह हाफिज जजाक लाइक वी कैन हैव अनदर पेरेंट प्लीज यस श्योर जी 2116 Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam how are you i am well alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. and alhamdulillah. i'll just say amen to all of those uh, wonderful prayers that yes amen allahu amen yes <laughs> mashallah <laughs> i won't go i won't repeat any of that just after for everything that the whole team has done it you're doing an incredible job um you know i know that my daughter's thoroughly enjoyed the course and she's oh, learned good. so much mashallah i'm not always available and so um because i have a, another child but she's able to come back and tell me um the rules and the, the rule in focus and the way you've set it out is fantastic um just one suggestion that i yes. i the, the, the couple of lessons that i've seen before uh, when you were doing the rules in focus because i know you've done a lot of practice over them the rules in focus is there any chance um maybe for next time because i'm i'm not, I'm not sure whether my daughter can do the course again or if she needs to mm-hmm. um but if they are able to practice with particular words because i know half hisab's book Mm-hmm. it has um the dustin or quran book it has um practice pages for yes. the particular yes. um uh, the rules that you learn and um when when my daughter was doing the class it was the rule in focus and then you would go into a passage and just mm-hmm. recite the passage with with the rules um yeah. but before that i think it might be useful if you did a few words using that rule um okay yeah yep. i think That's that might that something possibly, i will feed back definitely yeah yeah that was one thing and the other thing was just in terms of the timing um i'm not sure about other mothers but i did find that the, uh, the, the 6 to 7 i know uh, obviously the teachers they are they are giving up their time and i mm-hmm. uh, you know i can completely understand that but if there was any flexibility on that i think it would be even more beneficial if the class was um uh, a bit earlier just because it's like it's usually kind of dinner time at that time and they she's so she was just so exhausted 
um, mm. some, sometimes that it was harder for her to kind of concentrate on the class. Yeah. So those were the only two kind of suggestions that I could make for. No, definitely. I'll um, feed those. I'll feed those back to our, um, our in charge as well. But other way, otherwise, Jazak, so yeah. much for the availability of the resources as well. Um, you know, her being able to go onto YouTube and find any class that she was a bit unsure about. She's gone back yes, and she's yeah, listened yeah. to the recordings and it's been fantastic. It's really, really good. So Jazakallah, Jazakallah, the whole team for everything that you've done. You're all in my prayers. <laughs> Jazakallah, please just remember us all in your prayers. And please pray for more teachers because the more we have, um, the more flexibility we have in terms of timing because often, you know, we do have a lot of our teachers are working. So by mm -hmm. the time they get home from work and then yes. you know, having an evening class sometimes uh, can... I can understand what you're saying with the younger kids. It can be quite late um, for them for the six to seven. Um, mm -hmm. But if we have more teachers, more flexibility will, will come with the timing with that. Gee, inshallah, so inshallah. Please pray for us as well. Gee, inshallah. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Thank you so much for your comments. That's really, really helpful. And I'll definitely feed that back to our in charge as well. Great. Allah Hafiz. Khud Hafiz. Khud Okay, excellent. If we could have some more, another parent, please. Yes, um, G2239. G2239. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. I just wanted to say thank you very, very much. Um, my kids, I have two of them on it, and mashallah, they've enjoyed it very much. Alhamdulillah. And we've all learned so much, including myself. Oh, um, brilliant. This is what we want. <laughs> yes, yeah, excellent. So after the class, we do, uh, we recite, they recite with me um, through the Holy Quran, and uh, we picked up so much, and we were able to like apply the rules whilst we were reading as well yeah so it was really really good um thanks for your time um again the timing I think you you just have to go with it really because it suits some people and then it, it yeah does. I mean this this is the thing some some students the slightly older ones sometimes like it a little bit later but then there's other That's courses right. going on after my class I mean after this this timing yeah um so yeah again and like if we've got working parents and some yeah. children don't get home till sort of 4 30 and then five o'clock can be a bit early for them yeah so yeah we are trying to we're trying to juggle our timings and try to find the best it's just time part of our routine now I don't really know what we're going to do when when it finishes actually <laughs> oh inshallah we'll, well, well it's coming up to Ramzan to <laughs> Yeah, where we'd no, love to enroll them onto like the next the, the uh, HIFS class will be, I think, um, next term. Right. So, um, yeah, so there's the possibility of the HIFS class and then they focus on, on um, you know, the, the memorization of certain surahs. And that's the next, that's the G3 class. Lovely. And, and yeah. you've got a really good way of teaching with the children and the way you I'm are. It, it's really, really great. So I'm thank you. Thank you very much. Jazakallah. Thank you so much for your yeah. for your kind comments. Jazakallah. OK, Allah is Samikum. Um, yes. Next exactly. is G2184. 2184. G. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I am good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. It's so nice to hear parent, parents' voices today as well, <laughs> along with the children. <laughs> yeah, it's a great opportunity where my kids uh, learn very good. And uh, I would like to say thank you to you and your entire team. They put a really good efforts in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we learned as a mother, I learned a lot from these lessons. And um, it is really good opportunity for us. And uh, I want to say one thing that um, uh, like, uh, if we move to uh, weekends, rather than doing after the school on the weekdays. So what do you suggest if you can do it? I don't mind on the weekdays as well. So um, if uh, next time for the next time only. So um, I'll, I'll... all the suggestion. Yeah, is uh, nothing for mind in there, but it's, no, no, uh, no, we don't mind at all. Um, I will definitely feed this back to our our in charge and the head teacher as well. A weekend, the possibility of maybe having some courses on weekends. I think there's yes. so much mashallah. I mean, in the jamaat that's going on on weekends that sometimes parents find yes. it difficult. We have lots of halka meetings and and sirtu mm -hmm. nabi jalsas and you know so much mm -hmm. going on. So sometimes parents um can find weekends a little bit um difficult but I will definitely feed back and if um if there's a possibility of weekend lessons then you know that's something we can look at in the future inshallah 
Yes, and other thing that is for just for the call that uh, my son he wants to recite every time. I know that you can't manage with the every time. <laughs> yes, I have to take part in there. But he always he get mind that we got upset that when he go don't get a chance to read, and he said, "Oh, mama, I'm not going to read now." I said, "No, no, no don't say that. You will." Get oh, back I know. I have yeah. to always encourage him to yes. read. But, yeah, I know. Uh, child, you know, they want to take a turn every time. I know, I know. <laughs> I can understand it's very, very disappointing for the children when they, there's, you know, they're waiting that they will be called and they want to be, they want to have a turn every time. But like I said, you know, please pray for the team. The more teachers we have, the more flexibility we'll have. And this time, you know, we've set up the Friday classes so that there's smaller classes, a lot more teachers so that the students get an opportunity to recite. Um, but obviously, you know, we have to look at how many teachers we have, what is what is the availability. And inshallah, in, in the future, we'll have more teachers, inshallah, and then inshallah, we'll be able to listen to yeah, students on a more regular yeah, basis. Jazakumullah, yeah. thank you so much for your kind comments. Okay, I love this. Okay. If we could have a, um, another parent, please. Um, yes. Um, uh, G2112. G2112. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum assalam. Ji kaise hain aap? Alhamdulillah, bilkul theek thak. Aap kaise hain? Haan ji, alhamdulillah. Main bhi theek hu. Eh bahut bahut jazakallah aapka sabse pehle sari team ka. To mashallah meri beti bahut enjoy kar rahi hai. Oh alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. लेकिन माशा बहुत इम्प्रूवमेंट हो रही है बल्कि मुझे कई दफा मैं कुरान पढ़ी होंगी तो मामा ये हरूफी हल्की है मामा ये ये इसको हलक से निकालो इसको यानी मुझे वो ठीक कर रही होती है That's brilliant. That's the best way, you know, for the yeah. children to learn. And go, मतलब whenever they're they're teaching others, that helps to reinforce it in their minds. So that's so yeah. good, mashallah, that she's doing yeah. that. Mashallah, बहुत मतलब कि बच्चे इनको कहना नहीं पड़ता मतलब कि एक तो आप इतना अच्छा पढ़ा रही हैं दूसरा ये कि आप बच्चों को इतने प्यार से पढ़ाती हैं कि उनको कहना नहीं पड़ता कि आज आज की क्लास है ना पूरा टाइम मतलब कि लेके बैठ जाती है वो कि मम्मी मेरी क्लास आने लगी है तो इसके लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका सबका जजाक अल्लाह के माशाल्लाह बहुत मूवमेंट हुई है और ये कि बहुत खुश होती है स्पेशली मुझे यही कहती मम्मी हमारी जो टीचर है ना वो बहुत प्यार से हमको बुलाती है बहुत अच्छा बोलती है वो हमारे साथ तो बहुत शुक्रिया आपका जजाक ये कि आप ऐसी कोई और कोर्सेज हो तो जी जी ये जी जी थ्री का जो कोर्स है जो मैं बता रही थी ये अभी मई में शुरू होगा मई सेवनटीन तो अगर आप वेबसाइट पे जाएं तो आप हिफ्सुल कुरान के क्लास है मतलब उसमें बच्चों को हिफ्स हिफ्स कराएंगे कुछ स्पेसिफिक सूरज दे विल दे विल मेमोराइज दोस सूरज एंड दैट स्टार्टिंग ऑन द 17th ऑफ मई सो इट्स अ लवली कोर्स दे विल गेट टू लर्न फर्दर दे विल गेट टू मेमोराइज um with yeah. teachers and and be listened to as well inshallah so it's something you can um that's the next level g3 the g3 oh. class ओके इंशाल्लाह तो थैंक यू सो मच बस हमें दुआओं में हम पूरे टीम को दुआओं में याद रखें हमारा सारे टीचर्स का यही दिल चाहता है वी ऑल जस्ट वांट यू नो द स्टूडेंट्स टू टू गेन अ लव ऑफ लर्निंग एंड अ लव फॉर द कुरान बिकॉज़ एक दफा वो यू नो दे दे गेन दैट लव देन इंशाल्लाह इट विल बी अ लाइफ लॉन्ग लव फॉर देम सो दिस इज यू नो टीचिंग देम विद लव एंड विद केयर एम you know it it gives them that respect for the quran and they want to learn it inshallah as well yeah, so thank you so much jazakumullah thank you so much for your kind comments okay um, allah oh, okay allah hafiz assalam alaikum okay uh, um, another parent please yes g2220 uh, g2220 a g2220 um she is unmuted assalam alaikum the mic is unmuted assalam alaikum 
السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام الحمد للہ میں ٹھیک ہوں آپ کیسی ہیں بس شکر اللہ کا بالکل ٹھیک ٹھاک جی میں نے آپ کو جس جزاک اللہ کہنا تھا کیونکہ میری دو بیٹیاں آپ کی یہ کلاس دیکھ رہی ہیں میری جو چھوٹی ہے سکس ایئرس کی ہے میں اس کے لیے بہت وریڈ تھی بیکاز وہ قاعدہ بھی نہیں پڑھتی تھی اور میں بہت وری تھی یہ کیسے لرن کرے گی کیسے لرن کرے گی لیکن الحمد للہ اس نے جی ون اینڈ جی ٹو کلاس سے کر دیا الحمد للہ ماشاء اللہ ماشاء اللہ ہاں جی اب اس نے قرآن پڑھنا اسٹارٹ کر دیا اور ماشاء اللہ بہت کم مسٹیکس ہوتی ہیں کہ میں بہت خوش ہوں اس سے کہ یہ سارا یہ تھروٹ لیٹرز ہیں یہ سارے لیٹرز کو اور سارے گرامر کے ساتھ بہت اچھا پڑتی ہیں تو الحمد للہ الحمد للہ بٹ دے ون دے ون دے اسٹارٹ ایٹ اے یگ ایج اٹس ریلی گڈ دے کین دے کین آرٹیکولیٹ ویری ویل ان کو مطلب زیادہ آسانی سے وہ پھر وہ لیٹرز کی پرنسیشن وغیرہ کر سکتے ہیں جی جی یہ یہی تھی کہ چلیں جب تک یہ 2 یا 3 تک بچے جاتے ہیں اس سے پہلے پہلے قران ان قاعدہ فنش کر لیں تو یہ بیٹر ہوتا ہے تو اس لیے میں میری بڑی بیٹی وہ اس نے قرآن فنش کر لیا تھا لیکن اب وہ بہت اچھا پڑتی ہے وہ اس کی مسٹیکس تھیں وہ ساری اب دور ہو گئی Thank you, uh, parents. Mashallah, we've had lots and lots of lovely comments um, and lots of really good ideas about future courses. Please, if you have any other um, comments that you wish or queries that you wish to, to send to us or feedback or suggestions, please do um, email at UKQuranClass um, at gmail.com or um, you can message via the WhatsApp group as well. Um, we really, throughout, since we begin the G1 and the G2 classes, we, we do take all of, your, um, all of your opinions, all of your feedback very, very seriously. And every year, our uh, in-charge really tries to make sure that the course is developing, is taking into account all of the issues, all of the problems that parents are facing and the students are facing so that we can, we can you know, provide a better course for them, which is what our aim is. So thank you so much for your feedbacks and any other feedbacks or comments, suggestions, please do let us know because that's the only way that we can improve. And that's the only way that we can help your children, our children to learn the Quran, inshallah, in the best way. So Jazakumullah, thank you so much, all of the parents um, for participating in this parent um, teacher meeting today as well. Jazakallah. So I'm just going to now um, go to our um, homework, our homework for today. So our homework for today is um, we are going to practice Surah Al-Asr that we started today. You can also have extra practice of Surah Al-Fatiha, Surah Al-Qathir, Surah Al-Ikhlas. Um, please just keep trying to make sure that you're following all the rules. The Gunnah rule, I'm noticing that a lot of students are struggling with that. So please do try to make sure that you have learned the Gunnah rule and you're following it to make sure you're making your nasal sounds there. Um, extra optional homework is to memorize Surah Al-Asr verse four, if you want to. Um, and the Hifsu Quran unit, if you have memorized Surah Al Qathir, make sure that you read it from memory at least once every day to someone or record yourself on the phone and listen back. Um, another optional homework is your Surah Ikhlas. If you have memorized it, Surah Al Ikhlas, make sure you read it from memory at least once every day to someone or record yourself on the phone and listen back. And the other homework, which um, I told you earlier, was that we need to um, look up the three compulsory stops in chapter three, verse 182, chapter five, verse three, and chapter 36, verse 77. So please do try to look those up. It will make um, such a difference when you actually see them yourself, you find them yourself, you can, um, you'll see what they look like, sometimes different different fonts in the Quran, it would look slightly different. So it will give you an opportunity to um, look at that in more detail. Okay, so if I can ask everybody now to um, join me for the final prayer, if you can read, recite yourselves at home as well. In fact, we have time, if we could have a student on the mic, we have time to have a, one more student to recite the final prayer with me. Yes, um, our final student is G228. G2228. Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. 
G2228. Assalamu alaikum. Oh no, we can't hear the student. Okay. G2163. G2163. Can you hear me? Wa alaikum assalam. You can hear me. Excellent. So we're going to start with Dawood and Tasmiya and then recite this final prayer. Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allahumma arhamni bil Qur'an al-Azim. Allahumma arhamni bil Qur'an al-Azim. And the translation? Oh Allah have mercy on me through the Qur'an the Great. Jazakumullah, thank you so much. Jazakumullah to all the students, to all the parents who participated today and for supporting us so much and supporting your, your children um, in this lifelong learning of the Holy Quran. Jazakumullah and inshallah we will see you all again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.